What's up everyone, my name is Anush Kumar and in this series of videos you will learn action script and some flash. So in the previous video we learned about go to and play and go to stop functions. So what it does, as it reads frame 30 it sees a bunch of code, go to and play at frame 1. So it again goes to frame 1 and plays again. So it repeats. So today, today we will talk about layers. You can create new layers by clicking this panel, this button below, which says new layer, and uh, we'll be placing action script on new layers. So you can rename or name your layers by double tapping on them and typing uh, actions as we'll place actions on this layer, and uh, on this layer we'll just double tap and write animation. So, just cut the go to and play code from here and go to frame 30 of action slayer. So, just go to frame 30, sorry, and insert new keyframe, go to actions and play as it. Save and Test the movie by pressing Control Enter or just go to Control uh, Play. No, let's test movie. Yeah, from here. So it's pretty much does the same. It moves like this. It goes like on frame 30. It sees a bunch of code. Go to and play on one. Go to white one and play it again. So we'll talk about variables now. So go to frame uh, 1 and go to actions, we'll be creating, sorry, this is what gets when we don't mm, create a new keyframe and uh, so go to an frame 1 and insert keyframe and then go to frame 1 actions on the actions layer. So we'll talk about variables. Uh, what variables are I'll just tell you in the moment but first of all how to create them. So you type var for variables. You type the name of the variable. F count for example. Uh, we'll be counting how many times our rectangle is moving from 1 to 30 to keyframe. So you can name it any. Uh, so after that press you press colon and you type the data type you you see a bunch of data type here uh, we'll be using numbers n u m v e r so as you see it uh, pops up here you can press enter or click here so you can initialize it by one and of course a semicolon so three things to count var name of the variable colon and the data type what this variable belongs to. Here number means a uh, positive value from 0 to infinity and equals to means we are assigning something. We are assigning 1 to the variable count. So a semicolon always gets up in the end of the programming language. Uh, line terminator. So here we have assigned value 1 so we want at frame 30 it should increment its value to 1 so we write count equals count plus 1 so what it does at, at, as it reaches frame 30 uh, it sees count so it uh, increments its value from first of all the value of count is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 at the next iteration it does 2 plus 1 which is 3 at the next iteration does 3 plus 1 which is 4 so it does it again and again so in the next video I'll tell you how to print these values in a text field here uh, in a text toolbar uh, so keep subscribing for more uh, it will not show anything about count or anything because we haven't displayed anything uh, any values of count 
so in the next video you will learn about how to display values using text toolbar thanks for watching the video bye bye